Hi, welcome to DailyNet. Gim Shan Ho was 37 years old on Monday, May 8, according to international calculations. He celebrates his birthday in a special manner this year. Sun Ho made a terrific modest donation. He chose to give 100 million yuan to the South Korean Red Cross. The South Korean Red Cross was the first to break the news. The actor is claimed to have exploited the benefits of his fan encounters to help young people prepare for independence. The actor who was born in 1986, opted to join to promote new beginnings and the aspirations of young people to be more self-sufficient. This is one of the Korean Red Cross's new campaigns. Even though he has given a generous donation, Sun Ho maintains a humble demeanor. He genuinely indicated that the money was not from him, but from the fans. His donation was much appreciated by the president of the Korean Red Cross. This help means a lot to a lot of young people who are struggling to live independently. According to the Korean Red Cross, over 2,500 young people are preparing for the year of independence by standing alone in the globe. However, over the last three years, 20 or more young individuals prepared to live alone have made extreme judgments based on social ignorance. Gim Sun-ho is a South Korean actor whose name is now known to the general audience. His popularity surged after he co-starred in the drama startup with Bae Suzy, and he drew attention again with his performance as Hong Do sig in the drama Hometown Cha Cha Cha. He was born on May 8, 1986 in Seoul, South Korea. He attended the Seoul Institute of the Arts before embarking on his acting career. He is an only child who served in the military before venturing onto the entertainment scene. Sun Ho is a Catholic, according to reports. He was baptized in 2019 at the Ewa Dong Catholic Church in Seoul and was given the baptismal name Daniel. Meanwhile, it comes out that beneath his upbeat disposition, he has a quite shocking past. The reason for this is because when he was a child, he witnessed his mother being stabbed firsthand by criminals who broke into his house. He was alone at home with his mother at the time, and while hiding under the bed, he witnessed an occurrence that left him traumatized. Gim Sun Ho, who was still in elementary school at the time, became a closed person and found it difficult to establish friends as a result of this experience. He was also easily agitated anytime someone stood behind him. He did, however, concede that since entering the world of acting, he has gradually begun to overcome his childhood trauma. Sun Ho need a significant period of time to appear on television screens. Previously, he has been actively involved in theater since 2009. Until 2017, Gim Sun Ho was able to land a small role in the KBS2 drama Good Manager. Following that, he received a lot of great feedback for his acting abilities and went on to star in the drama Strongest Delivery Man as Oh Jin Gyu. Despite the fact that Oh Jin Gyu's character is in a supporting role, he was effectively ogled by many viewers. As a result, he was nominated for the KBS Drama Awards in the Best New Actor category in 2017. Sun Ho had the opportunity to collaborate acting with actor Jo Jong Sog in a drama comedy action genre, Two Cops on the MBC channel, towards the end of 2017. He first auditioned for supporting roles alone, but the director saw his acting abilities and raised the second male lead. He received three MBC Drama Awards for his efforts. Over time, he has continued to be cast in popular drama series, albeit in supporting roles. Sun Ho joined Salt Entertainment in September 2018, when his contract with his previous theater company expired. In March 2019, he was cast as an actor in the drama romantic comedy Welcome to Waikiki 2. He portrayed an aspiring singer and acted alongside popular actress Moon Gaon. Even though the drama did not receive a great rating, its actors deserve to be praised. In mid-2019, he was cast as the lead character in Catch the Ghost, a drama series that airs on the TVN channel. He shared the stage with senior actress Moon Goon Young. Sun Ho also succeeded in attracting fans' attention after being named a permanent member of the Two Days and One Night variety show near the end of 2019, on November 5th, to be exact. He was able to show his new side with the help of other members. As a result, Sun Ho received the Rookie Award Show Variety category at the 2020 KBS Entertainment Awards. Sun Ho also returned to the theater in 2019 with Memory in Dream. At the time, his name was so well known among the general public that all tickets were sold out within five minutes of the ticket office opening. Around 4,700 individuals came to see his performance. After finding popularity in a variety of dramas and variety shows, he was cast as the second male lead for the character Han Ji Pyong in the 2020 drama series Startup alongside Bae Suzy and Nam Ju Yag. 
His skillfully brought the character of Hanji Pyong, which really touched the hearts of the viewers, till he finally got the nickname Good Boy. Hanji Pyong's character, as you may know, is an assertive and firm team leader at SH Venture Capital. He has a past that only he and Sodami's grandmother are aware of. Hanji Pyong is exceedingly devoted, especially to Sodami's grandma, despite the fact that the elderly woman is not his own grandmother. As a result, he is known as Good Boy, since he has done an excellent job portraying the role Hanji Pyong. According to the Korean Business Research Institute, this role propelled him to the number one spot among drama stars in November at the time. Gim Sono's career peaked in 2021, when he co-starred in the drama Hometown Cha 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 with the stunning actress Shin Minna. In that drama, he played Hong Du Sig, a character who is similar to Han Ji Pyong but more comical. He unexpectedly matched Shin Minna's acting abilities, and they were known as the Dimple Couple, because they both possessed dimples. In the same year, 2021, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor in the Beksong Arts Awards for his work in the startup drama series. Not only that, but he won the TikTok Popularity Award, Most Popular Actor category at the 57th Beksong Arts Awards, defeating actor Song Jonggi. Unfortunately, 2021 is also the year in which Sun Ho faces a barrage of criticism and insults as a result of the scandal involving his ex-girlfriend. In summary, he was charged with coercing his ex-girlfriend into having an abortion. Some netizens speculated that this was not true, adding to the scandal's pros and downsides. The Dispatch Media then obtained accurate information on Sono's relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Cho young -ah, a former weather presenter. Not only that, but he also had a lot of issues because Cho young -ah's connection with her ex-husband was not fully over. It is well known that he was constantly threatened by those entrusted to Cho young -ah's ex-husband. Finally, in April 2021, Gim Sunho and Cho young -ah met to resolve the issue, and their relationship finally ended in May. He was pronounced innocent, and all of the charges against him were baseless. Likewise, with the accusation of forced abortion on Cho young -ah, according to Korean media, Yu Sung-in, an important person in the People Power Party, declared that Cho young -ah should be severely punished for harsh defamation. Furthermore, involves sex crimes or abortion, which are both criminal offenses in South Korea. Even though the situation revealed his innocence over time, he chose to take a break from the entertainment industry and even considered giving up his acting career. This was communicated by one of his buddies on the Nate Pan discussion forum. Netizens who read the message immediately confirmed it because he stopped his Instagram account. Sono's wish, however, was thwarted by her mother, who adored him. Despite his eight-month hiatus, many South Korean media outlets have continued to seek the most up-to-date information on the progress of his controversy. However, as Dispatch revealed all of the full talks and interviews with C, the major witness to the scandal, it became a bright moment in Sono's career. Yes, when he was on hiatus, he naturally denied all offers of films, drama series, advertising promotions, and so on. Until the news that his name has been cleared of scandal and that he would soon make his return to the world of entertainment, which has admirers ecstatic. Rather of coming back to the screening, Gim Sunho resumed his journey through the theater stage. Touching the Void is the name of his stage act. Fans were ecstatic. It's not surprise that tickets for the theater event, which purportedly took place on July 9, 2022, were quickly sold out by fans. He was also offered a role in the film Sad Tropical, with other well-known actors and actresses. Initially, it was reported that the film will be released in December 2022, but no further information has been revealed as of yet. Gim Sunho was spotted at Incheon International Airport on April 18, 2022, after completing his shooting schedule for the film Sad Tropical in Bangkok, Thailand. His first public appearance was met with cheers from media and fans. Following his comeback to the entertainment world, he posted a photo on Instagram with an apology and gratitude to his followers for their support thus far. Furthermore, many netizens expressed their delight that Gim Sunho was still willing to return after being embroiled in a major controversy. These are various facts as well as Gim Sono's biography. Hopefully, this video has inspired you. Thank you for watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comments section and see you in the next video.